You know, I'm trying this new coffee my awesome friend and neighbor gave me. And um, she gave me two K-cups. One is cream brulee, which was delicious. And the other one was called blueberry truffle. Now, I don't think of blueberry with coffee, okay? And I made it because I needed a second cup today so I can hustle and get things done. It's Monday. It's different. <laughs> let me, let me try. You know, like when you have something blueberry flavored, you know, it tastes kind of okay, and then all of a sudden that aftertaste, that weird edge, yeah, that's what it tastes like. So, guess what? I am not getting Blueberry Hill, Truffle, whatever it is, coffee ever again. But it's not as bad as I thought it was. So technically, this is a Mindful Monday coffee talk, but we'll see how this goes. I might switch to tea. Perspective has been a really hot topic lately. I've noticed a lot of people in our community, as well as outside of our community, really addressing this. Perspective has changed quite a bit ever since this year kicked into high gear. Some for the better, some for the worse. It's very interesting to see how those views change. And it always depends on your life and your environment. Um, circumstances, worldly events, attitude of others. It's really, really affected by so many different factors that sometimes we're not even aware of. But in this, even when I was in a moment of fear or a moment of anger, which unfortunately I've experienced quite a bit on and off throughout the past few months, I always came back to one thing. And that was gratitude. Now gratitude gets talked about a lot as well. And sometimes I think people become numb to that word because it gets discussed in so many different ways that we become desensitized to what it can actually mean and what can it actually do for you in your life. So in this Mindful Monday, we're gonna get into that topic just a little bit deeper than usual. What is gratitude and how can gratitude change your perspective for the better? This year has been quite challenging and I know that's an understatement. <laughs> um, it has affected us in so many different ways. Our way of life is completely different than it was last year at this time. And there's a lot of fear out there. There's a lot of anger. There's a lot of uncertainty. However, I have noticed within myself as well as many other people that a new attitude is coming out. The attitude of gratitude has been more of a concept that people have been starting to embrace. As old things fall away from our lives, materialistic things, ways of thinking, um, perspectives that don't really serve us or others, gratitude has come to the front line. And gratitude is such a game changer in ways that we're not even consciously aware of at times. The past several months, I had been very, very moody, struggling with anxiety, struggling with anger, struggling with a lot of these negative emotions I'm not used to dealing with. And sometimes I didn't handle it that well. But I lost focus on one thing. And that was gratitude. When I saw my friend's video the other day, it really, really hit me that gratitude is everything. And it colors our perspective. It colors our life. It colors everything around us. And it affects all the people that we're in contact with. And here's what I mean by that. What is the meaning of gratitude? This can mean different things for different people. Gratitude is appreciating what you have, appreciating the people in your life, appreciating that there is good in the world. And sometimes it's giving thanks to someone, whether it's in a good deed or a good word or a gift um, or just 
being present in the moment and really, really appreciating your surroundings. No matter what form it comes in, it's powerful. And when you come from a perspective of gratitude, you feel less anger, you feel less fear, and you're less likely to feed into the negative emotions. I notice that when I come from an attitude of gratitude, I remember the good things in life because the world really is a good place. Right now, a lot of systems are breaking down. The matrix is falling apart. A way of life and our perception of the world around us is fading. In that, there is light. In that, there will be positive things. Because it has awakened a lot of us to a deeper sense of appreciation. So gratitude is the main focus of my life and I hope this video helps it become yours. And there are different ways you can go about gratitude until it becomes autopilot. Number one, when you wake up, think about three things you're grateful for. Now it can be a cup of coffee, it can be about your significant other, it can be about how comfortable your bed is, it can even be about something you're looking forward to in the day, no matter how major it is or how minor it is. When you start thinking of three things every day and challenge yourself to think of three different things every day, you become more and more in the present moment and more appreciative of what truly matters in your life. It really also sets the tone for your day. It actually puts you more in a positive frame of mind. Plus, it also raises your energy frequency, which is what we all want. Number two, you can actually journal these things. Now, if you wake up, sometimes like me, we're really groggy. You might not even think about that right off the bat. You're just thinking about that good cup of coffee. Uh, which is totally human because I do it uh, quite a bit. Um, sometimes journaling the three things that you're grateful for first thing. Once you make that cup of coffee, sit down for a few minutes. It doesn't have to take a long entry and it doesn't have to go on and on unless you want to. Just listing those three different things every day cements what you're appreciative and what you are blessed to have. Because when you start cementing that in your mind, that will stay with you subconsciously throughout the day. It's kind of like doing affirmations. Some people prefer to do that. Now, I don't do that every day, but I do do that occasionally, and it really lifts my spirits. It sounds cheesy, but if it works, it works. But journaling really cements it because you're putting pen to paper, really writing it down. And that's a record of something you can look at later on imagine a year from now how many uh, things you wrote down that are different that you're grateful for it will make you feel like the most blessed person reading through that and believe me that's exactly what I'm going to do with mine number three do something nice for someone else now this can be in different forms it can be in the form of a good deed a compliment lending an ear when they need to vent making them laugh, showing them that you care in different ways by sending them a gift or uh, giving them a phone call or a text that you're thinking of them, whatever it is. It can be pretty much anything that you know that person will appreciate and feel loved. And it's a really important thing that we start doing that a little more often for others because when I know when someone texts me out of the blue or someone greets me in the morning um, and they're genuinely happy to talk to me um, that makes me feel good I'm confident and happy in my own company but it does show that you are loved it shows that um, you feel appreciated and that you're making real connections so I find this really important because it's, it's easy to do this on a good day but when you're having a bad day if you do something nice for someone else, genuinely because you want to help them or you want to make them smile or just lift their spirits, it's amazing how much better you feel. Now, it may not solve your problems. It may not make your day 100%, but in that present moment, 
that will make you feel good because you made somebody else feel happy. And that's a real game changer in itself. Number four, be present in the moment. Now you've been hearing me say that throughout this video. And it's super, super important to do this, especially in the fast paced life that we all live. Now things have slowed down considerably because of all the events in the world, especially this year. However, we're still working, we're still hustling in our own way. And some of us have to hustle even harder because of things going on. However, when you get overwhelmed or you get stressed out um, or you have anxiety, it's always good to step back and really take a breath, be present in the moment, feel your surroundings, ground yourself. And if you can't do that at that moment, do it as soon as possible. Sometimes what I do when I get overwhelmed, and I've been very anxious lately, hence why I'm doing my anxiety series to help others, um, I've noticed that when I do step back, um, if I talk to my bestie, or if I make a cup of tea, or just even meditate for five minutes, it really helps me realign with my soul, with my heart space, because the heart doesn't look for those future results. It, it responds to the present moment. It responds to how it feels. And a lot of the time, that's what's really important. And it's interesting because the more I've been doing this, the more centered I have felt. I was really super anxious uh, for the past couple of weeks. But I've noticed that ever since I took uh, a short reprieve over the weekend, I've become more centered. I've become more focused on what's really important in my business and in my personal life. And while it doesn't solve everything, you know, I still got things I have to do, just like anyone, it really helps me be in that moment, appreciate what I have, and go forward in a more positive perspective. And number five, gratitude is all in the attitude. Now, gratitude doesn't always come automatically. It's one of those things you almost have to train yourself. Now, for some people, it comes easier than others, and I tend to be one of those people. And some, they might be bombarded with so many stressful things and uh, maybe not a lot of support so it's really hard for them to get into that mentality it's okay you don't have to do a whole bunch of things overnight it's just a matter of being more mindful about what you have in your life there's always someone who's worse off even if you're in the middle of major medical things or uh, financial stress um, maybe even um, family relationships or spouse relationships or significant other relationships that are not serving you or are stressful right now. Yes, work on those things, of course. Do what helps you, but also remember what you do have. Even if it's just that, that small meal on the table that day. There are some people in areas that don't, can't afford food right now. Even if you're struggling to pay your bills, at least you have a roof over your head. Even if you're, you're really, really looking for that person, that gives you time to work on yourself and be more present in your own company. And thus, that's self-love, which will attract a mate eventually. So it's interesting how it can be a domino effect because gratitude really is about attraction as well. It's, it really ties into the law of attraction. And when we're in gratitude, when we are appreciative of things, when we're more into that positive mindset, it attracts more positive things. And I'm glad I saw that video because it reminded me of what's important. And it reminded me that not everything is permanent. Things are always changing. And when you're at that point, it becomes automatic. That's when your life changes for the better. And uh, yeah, it, it's really, really funny how just tweaking your mindset can make all the difference in the world. And it raises your vibration. Thus, it raises the people's vibration around you because they sense that, they sense that positive, positive um, energy. And it, it can be like a butterfly effect through the world. So don't underestimate your own power when you're in gratitude. 
So the next time you feel that life struggle, that inner struggle, or you're frustrated with things, take a moment. You're worth taking a moment. Think about one thing you're grateful for, even if it's the silliest thing, and notice a shift. The more often we do this throughout the day, the better. And uh, eventually it will become autopilot, and eventually you'll see the changes. And uh, I think the more of us who do this, it can really change things in a major way. So now I would love to hear what you have to say. Name one, one to three things you are grateful for in the comments below. Let's see what we're all grateful for and cause a ripple effect through our community. It all has to start somewhere and it all starts with you. I love you all. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Stay tuned for my Empowerment Through Anxiety series. The first episode is on Wednesday. And until the next time, to know thyself is to know thy truth. Namaste. Gratitude attitude. Yes, it rhymes. <laughs> I'm not a poet. And I already know it. <laughs> Be serious. Be serious now. As I'm enjoying my lovely blueberry truffle coffee today, I wanted to come by and say, <laughs> this coffee's making me nuts. Okay.